What does it mean when you dream about chicken? Dreaming about a chicken can have either positive or negative connotations. In some cultures, a chicken dream is a very positive sign. It means that happy and prosperous times are coming to you in the immediate future. The chicken symbolizes creative power and fertility, as well as feminine characteristics and power. For Native Americans, the chicken was always linked to fertility and to ancient rites celebrating sexuality and sacrifice. Some ancient cultures perform divination rituals using eggs and slash or chickens. For example, it was believed to be a bad omen if a hen laid an even number of eggs. In Christian cultures, farmers were happy when their hens laid eggs on Good Friday because that meant they were assured of fertility in all areas of their lives. The appearance of several chickens in your dream means that you shouldn't be wasting your time with idle gossip and chatter. If you dream that you are plucking a chicken, this suggests that you aren't receiving appropriate compensation for your work, while a dream of eating chicken represents rewards received on the job. The dream chicken may have negative symbolism as well. For example, some cultures believe that seeing chickens in a dream represents a lack of willpower or even cowardice. The dream chicken may indicate a lack of common sense in a certain situation or represent a circumstance in which you should exercise caution or view with skepticism. Dreaming of a chicken may also symbolize fear, chickening out, or someone in your life who may be inexperienced or unsophisticated. It may even indicate that the inexperienced person is you. The dream could also be warning you against counting on something or someone prematurely, or it may symbolize someone in your life who can't function in an independent manner. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7, however, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8 hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical 2 hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. 
Some cultures practice dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include to represent unconscious desires and wishes to interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep to consolidate and process information gathered during the day to work as a form of psychotherapy from converging evidence and new research methodologies researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing consolidates learning and memory tasks is a subsystem of the waking default network which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real life experiences participates in the development of cognitive capabilities is psychoanalytic dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions experience of the present processing of the past and preparation for the future provides a psychological space where overwhelming contradictory or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake this process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow. Why are dreams hard to remember? Researchers estimate that five minutes after a dream, people have forgotten 50% of its content, increasing to 90% another five minutes later. Most dreams are entirely forgotten by the time someone wakes up. It is not known precisely why dreams are so hard to remember. However, there are several steps that people can take to improve their dream recall. These include Waking up naturally and not with an alarm Focusing on the dream as much as possible upon waking Writing down as much about the dream as possible upon waking Making recording dreams a routine